Hey, what's up you guys? Interceptor King here. Anyways, I just got these vehicles yesterday. I got the vinyl decal completely off of the, this one on both sides. This one's got Firehawk, Firestone, Pursuit tires. All these tires, all these tires have a lot of, a lot of tread. And, uh, it's got this nice push bar on the front. It's extremely dirty. I still need to wash this. It's really, really dirty. Probably sat for a couple months since it's been washed. Still got to get all the, uh, sticky adhesive off of this side. I'm going to order this piece probably. I'll probably order this piece off, find one on eBay or something. It's just a plastic piece that clips right into here. So I'm going to do that today. So yesterday I didn't realize, um, I started messing with these lights last night on this black one. And uh, they all work actually. So I think I'm going to remove this light bar today. And then go park it at the uh, dealership for sale. This one's super dirty too. This one was already decommissioned but I mean, look at all this stuff they left in here. Super dirty. And then, uh, this one is missing this back piece right here where the, t where the, uh, brake light, there's a brake light that goes up there. So I'm going to order one of those, get that installed. I'm gonna take this one to the uh, upholstery guy first. Try to get all the sticky adhesive. I mean, it's a lot of work. They'll look nice when they're done, but right now it's pretty rough. So, I'm gonna have the seat. This is gonna look brand new when it's done, but it needs to be completely reupholstered. So that needs to be done. It's only got, well, they told me that this one last known mileage was 68,000 miles on it. This one actually has 82,000 miles on it, come to find out. Super dirty. Need to give it a good wash. I'll wash it. Drive it over to the upholstery guy tomorrow. Let him fix the seat. So back to this one though, this is ridiculous. These two are fully equipped. Siren and everything. Well, this one's got more stuff than this one, than the black one does actually. And it has like a dash cam in there. Dash cam, a laser, computer. So this one though. real quick they drive great they drive perfect runs perfect just a little bit of stuff needs to be done but anyways turn that on let's see front I think that's it yeah check this out I see it better at night <laughs> that is crazy Can't see it as good on the camera, I don't think, as you can in person, but all the lights work. Super cool, but illegal as hell, so. Look at that. Said police right here, so I had to I had to get some goof off adhesive removal and take some of that, the rest of that off. But it said police right there, couldn't have that. It said police on the sides, couldn't have that. I'm gonna get the rest of that goo that adhesive off the side of this today. Clean it up really good, get the light bar off. 
I'm waiting to hear back from uh, a police department that I've sold vehicles to before. They can have blue and red lights, so hopefully they'll get back to me on Monday. If not, I'll call them first thing tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll wait one more day before I take the this light off. It's a uh, it's an Indian reservation. So I'll see if they want to buy it. If they don't, then I'm taking off the uh, light bar and and disconnecting all these lights because uh, not even security companies can have the blue the blue lights or the red lights in the front. So uh, the security companies can have amber LED lights, the amber lights, which are yellow basically. They can have the white lights and they can have red only in the back. And this is got all that. So if the police department that I'm seeing if they want to buy this, if they don't want it, you got to take all that stuff off. I don't want to drive around with those lights. One time I was driving to Spokane. This was like 15 years ago. There was a guy in the fast lane. And he was doing 5 miles an hour under the speed limit. And every time we, he wouldn't move over. And every time we went to go around him. In the slow lane he would speed up. So that we couldn't go around him. And uh, so after, it was like 18 or 19 miles of him doing that, and I finally, I said, just go around him in the slow lane and punch it. I'm not going to stay behind it. And then, so I flipped him off when we went by, and then he called the cops and said that uh, that we were uh, pulling people over. And that car had all the lights disconnected. There were no lights at all on it. And uh, we got pulled over when we were pulling into Spokane on I-90. And... Uh, they were asking us questions about, oh, why are you guys, you guys are pulling people over with lights on your car? And I'm like, there's no lights on the car. So basically my point is this, is that even if you don't have lights on your car and you piss somebody off in an ex-cop car and they know you're not a cop and, and they want to, they'll call, you know, that guy called and said that we had lights on our car and we were pulling people over and he lied to the cops so that we'd get screwed with on our road trip. So... I couldn't imagine if we actually had lights on the vehicle that worked, even if we didn't use them, you know, so it's just bad news to not, to have those lights on your vehicle, and it's, you know, you get in big trouble if you piss somebody off and they say you're doing something that you're not, so it's best to just not have the lights on at all, not to mention I don't even know what the deal is if, if I'm allowed to drive around with the blue and red light bar on there even if it's disconnected you know what I mean you can still see the blue and the red on it so just to be safe I'm going to disconnect that stuff before I take this for a drive down to the dealership if the it's the uh, Kalispell tribe of Indians that have bought vehicles from me that are over there by Spokane Washington but anyways uh and then I got let's see how does this work I guess I gotta figure it out And oh, the red, I like that one. So, all that stuff works. I'll probably leave that, that stuff hooked up just because it's funny. But the lights, they're coming off. So, this one's got a nice leather or a vinyl cushion back seat. This would be a perfect family car for somebody. It's all wheel drive. Runs and drives great. 73,623 miles on it. Super cool car. And uh, get these all cleaned up. Put them up for sale. That'll be that. Find anything interesting in there, honey? Um, 
let's keep all the nuts and bolts and stuff that's, that's in the washers. Just a protection order against somebody. So I got brand new seats that I got to go pick up. I just got a dozen of them. And uh, once this is cleaned up, the seat gets reupholstered. And uh, it's going to look nice when we're all done. So, go to interceptorking.com for current inventory. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Here's this one. It's a little bit dirty, but basically this is what it'll basically do. I know this is a Taurus. This is a, it has the EcoBoost motor. But basically this is what it's going to look like when, when it's all done. You know, keep the spotlights on there. Disconnect all the lights. Take the light bar off. It'll look good. I love this car. This is my favorite car. So anyways. Just thought I'd do a quick little video. It's a lot of work when I get these cars. So, I mean, the finished product, when, when they're all, they look nice sitting at the dealership. There's a lot of work that goes into it. I mean, just rubbing that stu sticky adhesive stuff off the side of that vehicle is going to take like an hour. And that's after I already used a racer wheel to rub all the uh, the decal off. Then I'll order that piece, obviously. The piece is probably cheap. It's probably like 35 bucks or something on eBay. So, anyways. Interceptorking.com. You guys take it easy.